multiply, subtract, compare, bring down. Then I'll start all over for the second digit and I'll say divide, multiply, subtract, compare, bring down. Then I'll start all over with a third digit and I'll say divide, multiply, subtract, compare, bring down. And then again with the fourth digit, divide, multiply, subtract, compare, and bring down. Okay, so let's start with the first digit. How many times does 4 go into 3? Let's see, 4, wait, 3 is before 4. So I can't even get to 1, so I know that that is going to be 0. 4 doesn't go into 3 any time, so it goes 0 times. That one's not working very good. Let me use my brown. I'll try the brown. 4 goes into 3 0 times. Then I multiply, I've divided, now I multiply. 0 times 4 is 0. And then I'll subtract and I'll say 3 minus 0 is 3. Okay, but because that's left over from the first number, let's compare it first. 3 is less than 4. And then I'm going to bring down my 0. And because this is left over from the first number, I'm going to write it down here with that number right there. And they're together, and I'm going to say how many times does 4 go into what's left over from the first digit and the second digit, okay? So I have 30. How many times does 4 go into 30? 4 goes into 30. How many times does it go? Let's see. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. Oops, I passed 30, so I'm going to go back to 28, and I know that it goes 7 times. So I'll put my 7 up here above the 0, and I know that 7 times 4, because I just figured it out, 7 times 4 is 28. That's, I'm just going back to my steps. I've done divide. I said how many times is 4 going to 30, then I multiplied. 7 times 4 equals 28. My next step is to subtract, so I subtract 30 minus 28 is 2, okay? Then I compare, is 2 less than 4? It is, so I bring down, okay? I bring down my 5, and I'll change this 2 to make it clear that the 2 goes with the 5 because the 2 is left over from that second digit. So the 2 is left over, and then the 5 is brought down. So how many times does 4, I start all over. After I bring down, I start all over. I say, how many times does 4 go into 25? Okay, let's count by 4s again. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. Oh, I passed 25, 24, so I know that it's 6 times. Okay, so 6, I put a 6 up there. Right up here, and I say 6 times 4 equals 24, right? I just figured that out as 24. So then I, my next step, I just multiplied, now I subtract 25 minus, let's scooch this over a little bit, I think I'm going to need a little more room. Okay, 25 minus 24 is 1. Okay, then I've subtracted. Now I'm going to compare. 1 is less than 4, so I'm going to bring down again. I bring down my 4. Right there, and I'm going to make that 1 a part of the 4 so that I know this is 14. This 1 was left over from that third digit. So this all is together, and I'm going to start my steps all over again. I'm going to divide. 4 goes into 14. How many times does it go? It goes 4, 8, 12, 16. I skipped. I skipped 14 when I got to 16, so I go backwards 1. So it's 3 times 4, 8, 12. Okay, so I'll put my 3 up here. And I'll say 3 times 4 is 12. And then... I'll, that was that was my times. I divided, then I multiplied. Then my third step is to subtract. So I'll say 14 minus 12 is 2. 
Then I'll compare. 2 is less than 4. So I bring down, but I'm done. I don't need to bring, I don't need to bring anything else down. There's no other numbers over here. This isn't a 0, so that means that I have a remainder of 2. Okay. That's it. Okay, it's your turn. Pause the video and try this one on your own. Okay, check your work. Now that you know those steps, you can do this problem at the very bottom down here. You can do how many times does 8 go into this number right here, and we'll put some commas in here. Let's review how to do commas. You start at the ones column and go 1, 2, 3, and then you put a comma. You go 1, 2, 3, and you put a comma. You can do that problem right there because all you have to do is Divide, multiply, subtract, compare, bring down. Divide, multiply, subtract, compare, bring down for each digit. You just have to do all five of the steps. Divide, multiply, subtract, compare, bring down for each one of these digits. And so you can do a super long problem. You could do a problem twice that long.